Russellville nonprofit that helps the homeless. It's leaving people who need their help without it this weekend. And as KERK4 Susan Alcori is here to explain, these scammers are doing it all with robocalls, Susan. Yeah, Victoria. Thousands of calls here. These scammers just keep calling phones from the Russ bus's number. And when people see so many missed calls, they then call back and get the Russ bus. That's forcing the nonprofit to miss calls they rely on to help get homeless people off the streets. Here's another call. Non-stop ring. Hey, this is Fred with the Russ bus. And a call log showing Rock, thousands Rock, more Rock, missed. Fable, Danville, Russellville. The Russ bus phone is getting so much attention. You could never get off the phone. It didn't take long for director Fred Teague to realize his Russellville nonprofit is being hit by a phone scam. It disables us. It puts us out of business. Volunteers are supposed to take calls when there's a homeless person in need. But this video shows how the scam is jamming their line. Russ Bus, this is Corey. Someone has stolen our number and is making thousands of calls. Just block our number and it should stop. Camps like this sit empty. That doesn't happen real often. On a normal weekend, Teague says it's the place he brings people when they need shelter. I know we're, we're missing some people over these few days. For now, he's keeping the phone off. AT&T told us, hey, you're probably going to have to change your number, and I'm like, that's not possible. Waiting to see if the calls will stop. Our job is to restore hope to the homeless, and that's what we do day in and day out. So the Rust Bus can get back to what matters most. Since the Russ bus has been around for more than five years and helped thousands of homeless people in that time, Teague is afraid changing the phone number could leave those people in the dark. So he's waiting till Monday to make his final decision about their phone. Back to you.